in the Baro River Canyon of Ethiopia. After a long day of portaging, I went to gather my bag, holding my sleeping bag, my clothes, and my toilet kit, and it was nowhere to be found. Apparently during the grueling portages, my bag had gone missing. So at that moment, I had no worldly possessions, save the torn shorts I was wearing, my socks and shoes, and the knife that hung from my waist. I slept in a small cave that night, rolled up like a hedgehog. And although I had no sleeping bag, no pad, I slept well. With the morning, I woke fresh and energized, ready for the day. And though I had almost no worldly possessions, I felt a richness for the moment. I was with friends on an adventure and touching something primal. In an odd way, this all seemed liberating. No accoutrement to weigh down the soul. Just a clear and present reason for going forward, for being. And I allowed something that might be called joy to wash over me. What did I learn? It's good to travel light. It saves the soul and the tendons. Choose lightweight but tough luggage. Every pound counts, both at airline check-ins and your own field pulls, pushes, and portages. Pack smart. You probably don't need five pairs of shoes or three different sports coats. And maybe you can leave that portable espresso maker at home. Know what you'll use and what you won't. Whatever your destination, we strive to make the journey even better. Travelsmith. Since 1992, clothing, gear, and advice to go.